Yeah! <laughs> it's the penultimate day of the trip and with nearly 24,000 kilometers under our belts already we've only got a couple of hundred kilometers to go um, it feels pretty weird to be honest don't really know what's going on upstairs anymore um, well we've left the, the busy shores the Gulf Coast of Florida behind us now and we're heading inland and this is all that we've got between us and Miami just a couple of hundred kilometers of alligator infested swamp not to mention it's probably one of the biggest breeding grounds of mosquitoes in the world so I look forward to that this place is awesome it's just teeming with life into the outskirts of Miami now 10 kilometers from South Beach and our finish line Oh. Made it to South Beach, Miami. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a weird feeling. Uh, I don't really know what. Yeah, it's the end. No more cycling. Eight months in the saddle. 23 and a half thousand kilometers through 24 countries and it's been quite a journey it was only a year ago when i thought maybe maybe i should do something crazy and cycle cycle around the world and like just so grateful to have had will to do with me because it's been um it's been incredible it's just once in a lifetime opportunity and challenge and um, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just <laughs> thinking back on it it's absolutely mad that even the thought that we could do it and then somehow it just happened. Yeah, it's only now starting to realise all the guards and stuff that we've had up to protect ourselves from the trucks, the traffic, the elements and just the uh, sort of emotional wear and tear that comes with this sort of trip. That's all going to come down now for the next few days. A bit worried about what's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, it's also just amazing how what, what you can do and just each day you just chip away at it and chip away at it and, uh, and somehow you just end up in these awesome places and then you do it for long enough and you cycle around the world. It's been amazing, we've been a fantastic team. Um, couldn't have worked out better to be honest. Um, I think we both agree we couldn't have done it with anyone else. But huge thanks to all people back home that kept us going and um, also for the huge generosity that we've had in the donations to save the rhino it made a massive difference to see all that money coming in and going to such a worthy cause um, so massive thumbs up for that we've reached our target of 20 grand and hopefully it's going to make a really big difference